Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be getting my new ball and we're also going to be drilling my new ball. Well, not me, I'm gonna go take it to the shop to get it drilled and come back. Today, I mean, I won't be bowling it after I get it drilled just because I don't have the time today, nor does my ride have the time today. I can't drive far distance yet. So if I could, if I did drive myself, I would go and bowl, but not today. But I am planning on bowling it tomorrow at Thursday League. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. He said, no, you know, I switched to 15 pounds three months ago. And I, and I asked him, I said, well, why did you switch? He says, he says, he says, he says, he This had to be done while I had a professional in it. And he looks a little bit good for his father watching at home in Washington. releases in the game it's just super soft hand and touch the bottom of the screen look at that how that wrist uncuffs and then that rotation and then the six slap and the ten out is always the right hander's best friend soft touch bottom of the swing big emphasis but a huge key to his recent surge See the lines he's playing right there. 17 out to about seven. The players are a little bit deeper than I thought they would start. And again, in talking with them about the oil pattern, they all said the same thing. It all depends on where everybody starts and how we break it down in practice. But I spoke with Chris Barnes a couple left lane hooks more. Back to Marshall Kim. <laughs> and it was interesting in meeting with Marshall Claire's getting her luck and his goal for the day. Uh, I think Marshall's uh, in a different place now because of his father's situation. And, you know, he said uh, he went home after the summer and went home to work on his set. Should 
He said to us in our conversation today that expectations were really high coming off the he gave to a point of the main last week with Dr. Powers. He felt it was successful for several weeks. Did he feel comfortable? The expectations of what he was born. Dual, oil pattern format, challenging. Well, he has turned things on at major time. All right, we can see the target right there, the nine board. And what makes this tricky again, remember he covered this without the six pin. But you want to get that ball in the air and make it hurt just enough. You get too much of the three pin and you chop the ten up. You don't get enough and you miss the nine pin. On the bench, Marshall Camp, 14 pin lead. My only question mark is, you threw it straight to the nine pin, why would you do the same thing with that? Back over the great northwest. Underway match one. Glaber can't. Great bowling to follow from Columbus. Alright guys, so I forgot to film my outro yesterday when I came home from getting my ball drilled. So I'm gonna make it now. So I apologize that I didn't do it yesterday. So if you guys haven't already guessed what ball I got, I got a phase two. So I've had a phase two before when I was bowling 12 pound balls um, and I really liked the uh, phase two so then I decided to get a 14 pound phase two so um, yeah we got the switch grips we got the pink inserts I should probably put in my switch grip now before I forget my thumb grip in. I'm just checking because like sometimes it wasn't though like time before it wasn't clicking because I had it in the wrong way but yeah so I go to um WLE bowling supply that's in White Pahu um I get my ball drilled by Keith Odette uh he's the one who usually drills all my bowling balls um well he wasn't the first guy I went to he, I went to the pro shop in Leeward, and then I ended up finding out about him. Went to him, and he's at, he's been drilling my bowling ball ever since. Me and my friends. So, hey, you didn't want to go out when I took you. She's crying because she wants to go out, but I took her, took her, ten minutes ago. We walked, and then we walked back. So whose fault is that? Not mine. And then you guys saw a familiar face in the video, um, Ren Spin, um, going there to learn how to drill bowling balls from Keith. So he's been kind of working there. Um, so yeah. Yep. So he didn't drill my bowling ball, even though I told him he could if he wanted to. <laughs> but he did resurface my gem. So that was nice of him. Because it was looking kind of shiny, so we had to resurface it to um, 2000 grit. So yeah. But I'm excited to use this ball to see how it rolls on the lanes. Especially now that I have a switch grip because before I did thumb slugs. So the smell is actually not bad. The smell is, is a red velvet cake, but I don't know. It doesn't really, like you can kind of smell the red velvet, but it also smells like something else. It's not like very strong. I don't know. I'm not making any sense. But yeah, that's me getting the bowling balls drilled. And I don't know what I'm talking about because right now I'm starting to get off off topic. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Aloha. Bye-bye.